Unexplained bruising is a very common condition. It affects around 40% of women and 20% of men. And most common cause of easy bruising is minor trauma. It is responsible on 50% of cases, especially in women and in older adults. In women, skin is thin and trauma can easily cause bleeding and eventually bruising. Uh, most common locations in case of minor traumas are upper arms, tights, buttocks, uh, usually limbs. Uh, if it's uh, uncommon places such as for example uh, stomach or uh, torso, uh, it, it should pay more attention and it can be caused more serious reasons. But most cases in most cases, if there is no other additional symptoms and if, um, if this bruising is not worsened over time, it's minor trauma. Another common cause is uh, medications. Medications like aspirin, for example, other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, every non-steroidal increase risk of uh, bruising, also supplements, for example, fish oil, ginkgo biloba, they can cause increased uh, bruising rate, yeah, antiplatelets and anticoagulants also. So um, in case of medication, if person takes medication, he or she should be very careful because they can increase risk of bruising. And such cases account 25% of bruising. So there is 75% probability that if person has unexplained bruising, it is caused by trauma or medication. Now let's touch more serious condition. It's leukemia. People always worrying when they have bruising if it's leukemia. And let's, let's discuss. First, we should say that for leukemia, uh, br easy bruising is not dominant symptom. So other symptoms more frequently and more commonly um, occur first, like fatigue, fever, frequent in infections. It, they are um, represented on 80 to 90 percent of cases. So more common is fever, fatigue, frequent infection. This is more common symptoms unexplained weight loss is more common. Also night sweats, uh, sweats also um, is uh, also non-specific symptom uh, which can be characteristic of leukemia and easy bruising also. Uh, but they are represented on 30 to 40 percent of cases so they are not dominant symptoms. Another important thing, if you see like this, usually it's not leukemia. If you see like this, it's not usual leukemia. But if you see like this, it can be leukemia. Now let's explain why. Uh, we have different types of bruising. Petechia, this one, smallest, very small red spots. They are flat red spots and usually caused by capillary bleeding and most common cause of petechia is idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura uh, ITP another another uh, is purpura itself uh, idiopathic uh, thrombocytopenic purpura also can cause purpura and uh, but it more common cause petechias uh, and what's purpura purpura is uh, bigger it's more than two millimeters if petechia is less than two millimeters uh, purpura is more than two millimeters but it's also small and it's slightly uh, slightly raised it can be caused by infections vitamin c deficiency and leukemia and uh, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura itself also so um, when we're talking about purpura, it's more serious. So if you see such bleeding, it's more serious than if you see this, because it's most commonly it's trauma, it's ecchymosis, usually more than 
one centimeter and um, usually flat if you see this it's hematoma hematoma is bigger uh, than um, ecchymosis and it is slightly raised uh, it's uh, bleeding more bigger uh, veins uh, from bigger vein or from bigger artery um, and uh, it is blood pool result from bleeding and it's raised lump so it's hematoma that's the important distinction distinctions which, which we should know also there are several uh, disorders bleeding disorders like, like um, um, hemophilia for example or von Willebrand disease but they are usually childhood disease they uh, they affect people from uh, since childhood so they already know about this disorder uh, that's why uh, usually when we say uh, unexplained uh, bruising in adults especially it's not caused by hemophilia or von Willebrand uh, disease it is usually trauma usually medication sometimes idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura it affects around one percent of population so it's also important and sometimes and less likely but still there is chance it's him it's leukemias and it can be also a vitamin deficiency but it's very uh, vitamin c and vitamin k deficiencies but it's it's less less likely because it's not common that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching uh, if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now